city here. And they got several more going up, you know, north of here, up towards Memphis and areas mm -hmm. like that. And, and, and what they what they would what they would do, they would open those floodgates and let that water come trickle out so it don't get quite so high. Yeah. You know, further down the river down here. Because mm -hmm. one year they, they let it they didn't open those floodgates to drain some of that water out. And it got so bad down here, boy. You know, Corps of Engineers to guard, watch that river 24/7. You know, because mm -hmm. what it had, the water had got so high it had saturated the levees along the river, and it began to leak in some places mm -hmm. because we got a lot of soft soil down here, and that water was leaking out from under that levee. And it, it, at any minute, it could have pushed through. Could could have pushed through, right? Yeah. Because I know further up river. Uh, from here, a little over hundred miles, near my home, right past Baton Rouge. Mm -hmm. They got a levee along that area there, uh, where they have to drill holes, bleeder valves down in the side of the levee so the water would come up and mm -hmm. run, run off. Okay. Yeah, because it the levee. It, it, you know, the earth just gets so saturated. <laughs> can't take no more. It can't take right. Yeah. You know. So the main river that runs through here is the Mississippi River, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. This is the river coming all the way from Minnesota all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. That's what you all, you all get on the ship. It's, mm -hmm. it's going to be straight ahead up here, not too far from your hotel, maybe about six, eight blocks. Uh-huh. Uh, they're gonna go out, out through the Mississippi into the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, okay. Then, uh, yeah, I hear that um, you guys are supposed to be on Sunday. It's supposed to be really windy here. We were saying high winds were coming. Yeah, we expected the front. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, and it's supposed to get colder. Yeah, they said tonight the temperature is gonna drop, but then. Um, the wind is going to come in on Sunday. Yeah. And when you are leaving out tomorrow? Um, Sunday afternoon. Sunday. Yeah, yeah, about two o'clock. I think we have yeah. to be there by. So, what are there some things to see in the downtown area? Would you recommend? Uh, well, the French Quarter is area where New Orleans was first settled. Uh -huh. There's a lot of history in and around that area. I couldn't dare tell you everything in the short time we got here. Yeah. <laughs> that's where the Louisiana Purchase was signed. Yeah. In 1803, right down by Jackson Square there. Oh, that, when we bought everything from Mississippi going to the left. Uh, when we bought everything, when the United States bought it all from France. Right. Yeah, because they lost, France lost to the Haitians. Right. And they had to sell. Right, 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 right. <laughs> they, they've been mad at them ever since. Yeah, that seems like. Right, right. That's why, <laughs> that's why the Haitians are so poor now because the United States won't support them. Yeah. You know, the only, it was the first independent country in, 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 in the Western Hemisphere. Yeah, before history say, you know, they told me, you can make it here, we protect you. And yeah. now that everybody else, no, we ain't gonna help y'all. Y'all done, done kicked the white man's ass. Right. <laughs> he ain't, he ain't get no love. I, I, went, I went on a tour years ago. I went on a tour and down there, and, you know. Uh -huh. And they were telling you about how that was, uh, 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 what do you call it, when they overturned the ship with the uh, mutiny. Uh -huh. And how uh, they, uh, <coughs> a lot of those slaves, you know, mm -hmm. would, you know, over to a ship and they jump off and they stayed in the islands down there. Mm -hmm. And that's why a lot of, you know, blacks, uh, you know, stayed down in, in, in especially in Haiti, Jamaica, mm -hmm. uh, all those islands down there. You got a whole lot of blacks down there, you know? Yeah. And uh, they, they would, you know, take, they, they were doing, to those people on the ship, with the, with the people on the ship were doing to them when they were bringing them over here as slaves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, you know, they got a lot about slavery. You know, some people don't want to visit these old plantations. That's why I told my wife I wanted to go see. Yeah, 
you, it's so, it's amazing, man. Some of the suffrage that we as black people have gone through, mm -hmm. and these young people nowadays think everything has been like this forever, and it's not good now. Yeah. With yeah. this man in office now, mm -hmm. he's trying to make America great again. Mm -hmm. It's oh, it's oh, I'm about to curse. <laughs> he talking make, make he talking make America white again. That's what he's yes. talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And, and it ain't gonna happen because the white people getting outnumbered. Right. And see, because I know when my daddy was. Was, 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 was a member of the NAACP. He would go out to these rallies. He would, you know, tell people, eh, shit, son. You see, y'all got to get some iron for these white folks. See, that's the only thing they're going to understand. Mm -hmm. See, because during my, my time when I was coming up, they were still cutting, uh, they were lynching black people, whatnot. Even since I've been a grown man, mm -hmm. they had a lynching not too far from the from the Baton Rouge area, they had about with four or five people got lynched, mm -hmm. but nobody, nothing about it. They claim. 